I want to fight hey. you. You put on quite a show. Can't say I expected it. God be with you. Look here, lads. I hope I won't be seeing you around here again. Go and find some other place for your games. All right, all right. We'll go. But if you want to fight again, you're always welcome. I bet you'll come off worse next time. That was pretty good. I didn't think you had it in you. You were really good. I've got to hand it to you. Most lads don't make it past me. So listen, I want to tell you something. What's that? There are people here. Looking for really tough men, and I'd say you fit the bill. So when you walk through town this evening, if there's a light in the church, go in and wait a while. If they like the looks of you, they might give you some work. Thanks. I'll think about it. Honored. They told me a different tale. Said you went there to fight of your own free will and lost a good... I did go there at first, but they cheated. And when I caught them cheating, they beat me. And now I have to hear that racket every day. If you want, I'll take care of them. Well, you look like you could move mountains, but... Perhaps we'll be able to. Perhaps I. May the Lord watch over you. I've taken care of. God bless you, lad. If anything else, we. Good luck to you. Sitting at home doing nothing because everything fuck sucks.
I hope I can be of help to you tonight. Does it really not bother you that your men also go to the quarry to fight? Why should it bother me? You call it fighting, I call it training. Once they start smashing heads with sticks or stabbing each other in the back, then I'll intervene. But until then... And you don't mind that they wager on it? Seems to me that's less of a sin than wagering on dice. I have nothing against... So you don't plan on... What concern is... You're weird. Why are you May here? the Lord watch over you. For us, eh? What is it you want? I want to fight to the death. I hear you're hiring men who don't mind getting their hands dirty. Is that so? And where did you hear that? Taverns and the like. People talk. Well, that's a pretty tale. But no one in any tavern told you to come here and wait, did they? So let's have it. Who told you? The bailiff's man told me about you. The one who runs the fight club in the quarry. <laughs> Did he now? Well, I hope you trounced him. Bastard took my money at dice. If you want, I can give him a proper hiding. Just to show you I'm serious. Spare me the boasting. I've got a test ready for you. Let's see how you handle it before you tell us how wonderful you are. What test? Nothing complicated. We used to take anyone who looked like they could keep their head on straight, but not now. Now you can only join if you do what we tell you. Which is what? Steal something? Nah, not theft. If you want to join us, you have to kill Pius. Pius? Why do you want him dead? Who's Pius? And why should I kill him? That's none of your business. But I'll tell you anyway, because what? it's an instructive tale. Pius was one of us, but he fucked up. How? Did he steal something? Yeah, that was part of it. Stole some money, ran away. A few boys died over it. Showed a distinct lack of loyalty. And as soon as he's dead, you can join us. Okay, where is he? I'll have to find him first. <laughs> you don't need to find him. We know where he is. Then why haven't you killed him yourselves? It's quite a test. He's hiding in a monastery. With the stable boys? It's not hard to get into the grounds. <laughs> no, not there. Well, he would have been dead long since. He's in the, uh, cloister. What? Or whatever it is. But only monks can get in there. <laughs> Just monks and pious. He's an educated bastard. Seems he used to be a priest. But it didn't quite work out. And how am I supposed to get into the cloister? Well, you'll think of something. Maybe there's a secret passage. I've heard there's some cave underneath. The cave of St. Procopius. There might be a way into it from outside. And do you have any other ideas besides secret passages? Well, there is this one fellow been hanging around the taverns. Supposed to join the monastery soon. Might be he could help you somehow. I'd try talking to him if I were you. And if he doesn't help, knock him on his ass and take anything he's got that you could use to pass yourself off as him. A letter of admittance to the monastery, or whatever. Huh. How will I recognize Pius? He won't have been there long. He should be the only new one there. But what if there are others? What does he look like? Normal. He always went about well-dressed and had a fine-looking dagger. Yes, except he'll be given a robe and they'll take his knife. Then you'll have to try and figure out which one of the novices it is and get him to betray himself. Try getting him drunk. Then send him straight to hell. Get him drunk? In a monastery? <laughs> Where better? There's more wine there than in the royal cellars. And I doubt he suddenly stopped drinking. 
And do you have any other tests? We're not hiring stable boys. We want men who are prepared to do anything. And this is the toughest task we've got. So how many men have you already sent? Uh, just a handful. Oh, that's great. And what happened to them? Did they hang? Ah, uh, just the first one. The others turned tail. Guess they didn't have the stomach for it. Murder someone in a monastery? Have you gone mad? <laughs> Murder's a sin as it is. Doesn't really matter where you do it. Yes, it does. I'd be spilling blood on hallowed ground. <laughs> well then, knock him senseless, drag him outside, and finish him off where it's less sacred. I don't give a damn where you do it, just as long as he ends up dead. Fine. So I've got to kill Pius. He's in the cloister, and to get into the cloister, I'll need to enlist the help of some boy who's joining the order, right? More or less. And now the main thing. The main thing is to kill him, isn't it? <laughs> of course. But that's not all. All hell's gonna break loose in the monastery after the murder. So, either make sure nobody finds him, or hightail it out of there quick as soon as the job's done. But better if they don't find him right away. And what else? Should I come back here afterwards? No, no. Before you run for it, take his special dice and bring it as proof that you killed him. And if you can get him to tell you where he hid the coin, bring that as well. Bring his dice and the money if I find it. And where should I bring it? From the monastery, head east across the river. There'll be a swamp where you'll find a fire pit. Go there at night and light a fire. Make it nice and big and we'll show up. Take the dice and the money and then tell you where to report. Got it? Right, I'm to slip into the best guarded place in the entire region and kill someone. Take his dice and money, and then go to the swamp and wait by the fire. Yeah, that's the <gasps> idea. Whew. Well, you can at least say a few Hail Marys for me. I'm gonna need all the help I can get. <laughs> and remember, we'll be keeping tabs. So don't you try to run off, alright? Good luck then. I wanna run off. This is insanity. Chastity and obedience. Oh, oh. All right, so they make a good point. Nothing else makes sense. So go to Radzig, then come back. And then talk to that guy, get his clothes, then go kill someone. Oh, well, no, 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 no,
take that! Actually, next time, I'll just meet you at Repay.